Hello again. Uh, now we're going to go over the 40 S&W or 40 Smith & Wesson cartridge, its pros and cons. Um, the 40 S&W is actually one of the newer cartridges on the market when it comes to pistol calibers in terms of rounds that are popular. Uh, there's definitely been a couple of tries at new calibers, the 327 Federal Magnum, uh, a couple other ones, 32 H&Rs, that just haven't quite made it and probably won't actually, even if they're effective and they're nice cartridges, they just don't have the backing to, to move forward. The 40 is here to stay. Um, originally, there was the 10 millimeter cartridge, which is again, same bullet diameter, but a longer brass case. But uh, that was actually uh, adopted by the FBI hostage rescue team for a while. But it was ruled that the 10 mil tended to over penetrate. And it had a lot of felt recoil. It was definitely a powerful cartridge and really deemed to be as effective, if not more so, than a 45 ACP. Now, the, because of that, that over penetration, and uh, more recoil, they decided, well, let's try shortening it. And the 40 SMW was born. And a lot of people consider it the good compromise between 45 and 9, because that's one of the longest running arguments in ballistics. 45, 9, what's better, what's not? I'm not going to get into all that. I like them both for their purposes. Um, the 40 to me, I think, is a compromise that's unnecessary. Uh, that's a personal choice of mine that has nothing. I'm not going to say anything about the lack of effectiveness for the bullet. All right. It has proven to be effective time and again, but that's what it is. It is a compromise between a 45 and a nine. You get a wider wound cavity, larger bullet, and a little more velocity like the nine for a little better penetration than a 45. And that's why it's a very common police issue weapon because it works in so many scenarios because of that. So it's a very effective cartridge, but it does cost more than a 9, all right? Though it does cost less than a 45. So it is definitely a common cartridge. It can definitely be a very effective cartridge. It has about 440 to 480 foot-pounds, so it doesn't quite get up to that 500 range. Uh, so it definitely has some energy. But like I said, it's just a personal preference. I'm not a big fan of it uh, in a lot of its platforms, unless you're talking full-size. You're looking at your full-size pistols, it really does excel at those Glock 22, Smith & Wesson M&P, the SIGs and the 40, all very, very effective uh, guns in using this caliber. But when you get into like the little bitties, the compacts and subcompacts and things like that, to me, it just has way too much snap, not enough control. Um, I care about my shots being a lot more accurate. I don't want to have to use all of them. <laughs> um, so just a personal preference uh, of mine. But very effective cartridge very very popular all right so definitely one to consider um, they do have carbines in them uh, specifically uh, Caltech I know makes the sub 2000 in a 40 and Beretta makes their CX Storm uh, carbine in a 40 as well to interchange with mags for their handguns so definitely a consideration if you wanted to do like a one caliber rifle pistol combo 40 is a, an option there all right any comments or questions please let me know